Hep, hep. Hooray! I am Teacher Rosby. Happy tuning in on our Kids TV. Today, you will be able to stand firm for God even when it is not popular. You will also be able to choose to do what is morally correct in a compromising situation. But before anything else, let us pray first and ask God to guide us. Remember that prayer is our way of communication with God. So, I ask everyone to bow down your head and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for this day that we will learn more. Please help us to understand our lesson for today. O open our heart and mind as we listen to your word. This is all our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Before we sing and dance our song, What a Mighty God We Serve, kindly hit the like or heart button and share it also with your friends, family, and playmates. Happy tuning in! What's up kids? I am Teacher Aaron. Are you excited for our today's memory verse? So let's begin. Listen up kids. I will read it first in the book of Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Peter and other apostles said, We don't obey people, we obey God. Do you follow kids? Later on, we will learn how to be obedient to God even when other people don't. Alright. And now, just repeat after me and put some action for our memory verse for today. Acts chapter 5 verse 29, people and other apostles said, We don't obey people, we obey God. Good job kids! I hope you will memorize it and put it in, in your heart and actions. That's all for our memory verse. Now, let us listen to our Bible lesson. Stay tuned kids! Hello kids! I'm back, your teacher, Rosby. And now, our lesson was entitled, The Courageous Hebrews. It can be found in the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 1 to 21. Please listen carefully, kids. Before I start to tell you the story, I want to tell you about the Hebrews. Hebrews were the descendants of the patriarchs of the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament. Was there ever a time when you had to suffer for doing good? And that is the scope of our lesson for today. I will now start to tell you the story. During the third year of King Jehoiakim's reign in Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came to Jerusalem and besieged it. The Lord gave him victory over King Jehoiakim and permitted him to take some of the sacred objects from the temple of God. So, Nebuchadnezzar took them back to the land of Babylonia and placed them in the treasure house of his God. Then, the king ordered to bring some of the young men to the palace. They are to select only strong, healthy, and good-looking young men. 
The king said, Make sure they are well versed in every branch of learning, are gifted with knowledge and good judgment, and are suited to serve in the royal palace. Train this young man in the language of literature of Babylon. Then the king assigned them in the deliration of food and wine from his own kitchens. They were to be trained for three years and they would enter the royal service. Daniel, Hananiah, and Misael, and Azariah were four of the young men chosen and were renamed with Babylonian names. From Daniel to Balthasar, Hananiah to Shadrach, Misael to Mesach, and Azariah to Abednego. As the servant, Aspenaz trained them for work. Daniel was determined not to define himself by eating the food and wine given to them by the king. Daniel asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat those unacceptable foods. Now, God had given the chief of staff both respect and affection for Daniel. But he responded, I am afraid of my lord the king who has ordered that you eat this food and wine. If you become pale and thin compared to the others, I am afraid the king will have be beheaded. But Daniel spoke with the attendant and said, Please test us for ten days on the diet of vegetables and water. And at the end of the ten days, see how we look compared to the other young men who are eating the king's food. Then make your decision in light of what you see. The attendant agreed to Daniel's suggestion and tested them for ten days. And at the end of it, Daniel of his three friends looked healthier and better nourished than the young men who had been eating the food assigned by the king. So, as the result, the attendant bent them only vegetables instead of the food and wine provided for the others. God gave these four young men an unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom. And God gave Daniel the special ability to interpret the meanings of visions and dreams. When the training period was completed, the chief of staff brought all the young men to the king, Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them and no one impressed him as much Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So, they entered the royal service. Whenever the king consulted them in any matter requiring wisdom and balanced judgment, he found them ten times more capable than any of the magicians and enchanters in his entire kingdom. Daniel remained in the royal service until the pressure of the reign of King Cyrus. And that's the end of the story. We have found out that it takes courage to do what is right and good. Even though it was ordered by the king, you may plead to do what you know is right. Be always obedient to God. And now, let us close in a prayer. Close your eyes and bow down your head. Dear God, thank you for the life for this young man. They set an example for us to follow. Help us to be always obedient to you. And give us courage to choose and do what is right. This is all our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching, kids. Bye!